Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have another special one for you today ladies and gentlemen where I'm going to be explaining why I am in long trades right now, the targets I am looking to take these longs up to and why I currently have zero short positions on the local term time frame holding no shorts only longs right now over the past few weeks of trading. I want to be explaining why I want to tell you where I'm looking to take these long positions up to and what I can be looking for for a sign of weakness as as you've come to love ladies and gentlemen you are obviously going to love this video once more i'm going to be giving you all the information you need to know right now to successfully trade bitcoin alongside me so without further said ado let's just get straight into the show right here as we're going to start off looking at the bitcoin chart of course I want to directly remind you where I made my last video, because if you haven't watched it, you've got to go and watch that one. That one was obviously the video I'm referring to here over on the Champions website. So chartchampions.com, I made the free video for you all, absolutely free. And it was a great live stream. And during that live stream, I explained why I was expecting higher on the Bitcoin chart. We were obviously a little bit range bound at the time, sure. and we were looking at the order flow together. And I was explaining why I believe that we're going to be pushing up higher once more here. There's no reason for me to be bearish um, after the obviously we got the rejection I had that short off the NPUC we come down we hit take profit one after taking those lows and then my words were I'm expecting higher now on the Bitcoin chart you know that's that's literally what I was explaining during the whole live stream why I'm expecting higher on the Bitcoin chart right now um, so if you haven't watched that live stream that's obviously over at chartchampions.com for absolutely free for everybody all it requires is that free work free account on the spectators but that was a gr great one okay and bringing this up to obviously we went higher from that video so that went exactly as predicted and I'll just remind you one more time, ladies and gentlemen, as I made it very, very clear uh, 17 hours ago that during my Champions live stream, this is obviously the one for the Champions members, okay, 10 hours ago. I oh, know one day ago, sorry, that was another, we got live streams galore. You can see these live streams coming out and coming out and coming out and coming out. But the live stream that I made last night for the Champions, I also was explaining why I am still in no short trades on Bitcoins and only in long trades locally, okay? I also covered why I'm bullish on Ethereum and expecting higher on the midterm on this. Well, I'm more for, for the short term, but here we were looking, we were above the point of control, we were above the value area highs here locally, and everything was looking good for another push to the upside. Well, here we are, almost 24 hours, just over 24 hours later, and we've gone from 21,600 to now where we are at 22,400. So, as that is predicted, no short trades, only longs. Let's go over the recap now of what's happening next. That was the quick walkthrough of how many minutes was that? Two minutes. I've talked you through what's happened over the past 48 hours and what I'm now going to be looking for next. So, stay tuned. Right. We we can currently see we are coming up to a very nice trend line. You can see this trend line from $69,000, okay? $69,000 connecting the next high. We're currently coming up into this. So you're going to be looking at this bump and run pattern. The bump and run pattern is a bullish bottoming pattern, okay? So if this bump and run played out perfectly, what this would mean would we would break the trend line and see a very large rise to the upside. Okay, that's your standard meaning of a bump and run pattern. Um so you've got to be aware of that. I would recommend you add on this trend line onto your charts because it's something you are going to be want to want to be aware of. It's a very bullish pattern. Um, but of course, we're not going to be moon boys here. We're not going to say, oh, if we break this trend line, we're definitely going up to $50,000. Of course, that's not the way we trade at Chart Champions. We trade level to level. So what we can be saying then is, well, I've made it very clear. I'm in no shorts right now. I'm only in longs. And I refer to once again over the past month of trading here. And what I'm going to be looking for next then, well, where could I take my next short? We can see I have a few levels marked out here. These are levels which I could be interested in in taking these short positions though. The monthly there, 22301. The weekly, 242297. So this like zone for me would be in my next resistance zone. Alternatively, we could be looking for the fake out. And this is what we mean by the fake out of the bump and run pattern. E.g. you could rise above this, this trend line. Everybody gets really, really, really bullish, right? only for it to remain end in a fake out. So what would we be looking to determine? Is this a fake out or is this a real genuine breakout to the upside? Because if this is a real genuine breakout, we do not want to be shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting. So how can we determine the difference between a fake out and a breakout? Ladies and gentlemen, it's what I teach you every day. Look at the order flow. Okay, this is how we're going to be determining this. We're going to be looking at the order flow together. We'll be looking at the volume. We'll be looking at the delta and the CVD. This is very important things combined with our open interest here of how we're determining. Are we seeing a legit breakout or is this more probable a fake out? Again, this is a game of probabilities. There's no certainties. But looking at this order flow, I've taught you through it live in the time 
over the past three videos that I've made, we've been looking live in the time of the order flow. And I have had extremely high confidence that each time we will be moving higher. And each time thus far, I've got it absolutely right. We have kept moving higher. So right now, I'm looking for higher once again, just above this high at 22,500. You might think, why 22,500? Why do I think this high is going to break? Again, we could simply make a swing flight pattern of this high. It's potentially possible, right? But I am looking for this high to be taken out once more. Why? Because if we come back over to the TPO chart, I notice we have not filled all these single prints. Okay? So again, you might not understand this theory. Okay? It is kind of advanced. It's not overly advanced, but it's a little bit advanced. If you want to understand fully the theory behind this, again, we got all the educational material you could ever want and ever need over at chartchampions.com. We got all the courses, the speed runs, everything so you understand this fully. But why am I looking then for that high to be taken out? Well, it's because here when we look at these row of single prints, we can see the top of those single prints, 22,662. So for me, where we are right now around 22,300, we're in the middle of these single prints. I'm going to be looking back for this rise to the upside to fill these single prints, okay? That for me is the, the theory that I'm trading off of. So at the very least, okay, when we come down here on a five minute time frame, I am currently, once again, long, no short, looking forward to a rise to the upside. This rise could be as simple as a swing fire pattern of the high. For me, this is a trade I would take. Okay, just as you can see the last high here, you see this last high, swing failure pattern, large, relatively large drop to the downside, right? This is ac executable trades that you can be taking. So once again, I'm going to be looking here and see if we form a swing failure pattern or a failed auction. Failed auction is also potential here, okay, of that high. Real simply, I can make an informed decision upon taking that high. Is there a, is there a legit reason to take that short or should I hold fire? I want to show you this. When you took that high here, Okay, when you took that high here and you took, formed that swing failure pattern, you had a very legit reason to take it because you ended with a lot of trapped longs up into the high, right? You had a lot of trapped longs up into the high. So this is a very legit <laughs> short to take and it ended obviously in this, this downtrend here. You can see as you're coming up to those high, 9.3 million new longs, 4.8 million new longs. This is a great large amount of new longs opening into that high. Thus, you get the down, you get the local pullback and they get stopped out and now we continue that rise. So once again, what I'll be looking at, I'll be looking at this high. If we take I'll be looking at the order flow. I'll be seeing if we get any of those trap traders and I can make an informed decision. This is what we're all about, Chart Champions, doing the technical analysis, marking out the levels and making very informed decisions. This is how we go from, you know, an average win rate to very high win rates because we know when to trade, we know when not to trade. Okay, it's very, 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 very amazing when you think about it. That you, even having access to this data, it's like, wow, this is like a cheat code, right? And, and for the people that <laughs> maybe don't believe this all you need to do back go back and watch the recent videos that i've done i've been looking and analyzing that order flow live in the time giving my opinions live in the time and each time we've been correct on the whole of this uptrend the whole of this uptrend has been very 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 technical um so yeah, that's that's what I wanted to talk you through there. Once again, if you haven't watched that free video over on our website, get, make sure you go over and check that, chartchampions.com, absolutely free. If you want to learn more, then you can obviously check out our courses as well, right? And um, I'll end with this, this final tweet here. The first one of this guy saying that he's, you know, I'm really becoming much and much more confident trader chart thanks to chart jam is obviously that long from 18,500 that we had marked out now trading at 22,400. Wow, what a trade that was, my friend. Happy to have helped you with that. But it's like we're seeing here. You know, this is what we're all about, right? Chart Champions places you in a community of world class traders, teaches you all you need to know about trading theory. And now we're adding in the live trading streams and updates. I mean, what more could you want right now? Well, if you want more, this is a little one to think about. Actually, no, I wanted to play this real quick clip. We have a little bit of time here. I'll, I'll, I'll speak for another few minutes and we'll see if we can take this high. I'm, I'm more than happy to analyze this live in the time for this free video just so you can see, hey, this guy knows what he's talking about, right? Um, so yeah, we'll, I'll give it a few more minutes. We'll see if we can take this high and then I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do in terms of my next trade. But I wanted to play this quick clip for the genius himself, which is Igor. Uh, have, have a listen to this one. This was uh, this was just over a week ago uh, from his um, you know live analysis trading streams that he does on the stock market. Take a listen to this one, ladies and gentlemen. I think you're going to be very interested indeed. but this is support okay i have said that so many times i would not be surprised to see a massive green candle to the upside i would not be surprised i'd be like yeah of course yeah it's obvious it's the cc <laughs> there you go <laughs> you heard that ladies and gentlemen 
that was Igor from his latest stream uh, talking talking about um, you know why the well the, 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 he was actually obviously looking at the Nasdaq but how it's come down to support he's not going to be surprised for a massive green candle to the upside and what happens on the stock market well it saw a massive green candle to the upside which obviously has aided Bitcoin greatly. Uh, so yeah, that was just a, a, a quick glimpse of what he was talking about last week. And I mean, this is the thing in trading, like we, you know, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but it's a simple case of doing the analysis, placing your alerts, and then having the confidence to take that setup. Because I know a lot of people fail in trading, right? Because they lack the confidence. Because why? Why do people lack confidence? The majority of people that I have seen lack confidence in their trading because they have got so wrecked in the past. Right, they've lost so much money in the past that they're then now fearful to can actual trade. And the majority of people lost so much money in the past because they did not have the right experience necessary to be a successful trader. Right, you have to have that experience. You have to have gone through pain. You have to have had the education given to you. Right, because if you don't have that level of education, how can you expect to outperform the market when ninety five percent of traders lose? You have to work really, really hard. You have to gain that confidence over time. Well, it's like this guy's saying, slowly but surely, he's getting more and more confident thanks to the education that we're giving i mean that is that for me is just happiness this is just why we do this right so shout out to that guy literally and this was a final tweet that i end with us we're continuing to keep our eye on this together but the thought of learning the process can often be de de deterred by the misconstructed calculation of time plus costs equals loss less 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 right now this is a tongue twister in itself ladies and gentlemen but time will still apply and what we do or don't do still costs something but will also determine if that time will yield something in the future so of course whatever you do in life it's going to take time, right? So you need to make, just like in trading, I, I always think of tr real life like trading. Everything in real life has a risk. Everything in real life has a potential risk and reward. And you need to determine what is, you know, is this worth my time? Because time is the most precious <laughs> commodity in earth, right? Time is everything. So when you're thinking about, you know, is it worth learning to trade right now? You have to basically just take into the thought process of, you know, what else could you be doing right now with your time? And what is the risk of using time to learn to trade versus what the reward will be in the future and this is just me looking out into the into the future with cc pool <laughs> cc pool cc pool cc pool but um yeah i mean let's see some of these replies i mean <laughs> that lovely i mean yeah i mean at the end of the day i don't think we're going to get this move up here at the moment but we'll keep an eye on this. Again, I'm going to upload this video right now. And should anything major happen, you know where you're going to catch me. It's over in the Discord. And I'll be giving the live updates as we take that high to the team of what I'm going to be looking for next. And that will be obviously in my trading only channel that we have over in the Discord. Again, then if you want to ask some questions, you can see I'm going through and answering all the questions. And I'll answer this question. Uh, oh, hey, I'll give this one for free for everybody. So the guy says, hey, Daniel, do you find that the ES1 is giving better results than the SPX during opening hours? And really simply, what you're going to do is you can ask me any questions about my charts and I'll give you a reply. And my answer to this one would be yes. My answer to this would be yes. The ES does give better results because that is the highest volume market really simple as that and that is based off of my experience of trading this right i trade <laughs> i trade this and keep my eye on it all and for me the es is by far the most respected level of technical i'll give you a little bit of a bonus i will give you one final oh, I'm, I'm giving away a lot of this i'll give you one final bonus yeah so the es1 tap the monthly and actually the spx if you just look at the standard one missed the monthly slightly front run it but look at the power it is you come up into the monthly to the absolute dollar for that pullback OK, now you're forming a bit of a symmetrical triangle, right? So you've got this kind of symmetrical triangle going on on DSPX. OK, so then you're going to be looking for the break of this. But this for me was outstanding. You hit it to the absolute dollar on the ES. You did not tap that on the SP on the SMP. Um, if you look at the uh, SPX 500, you actually slightly front run the monthly. Yeah. So for me, yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is a little bit of a bonus what you can get within the Discord. You can ask me the questions about my chart. I'll give you the answers. Uh, obviously, then I'm giving the live updates as well of what I'm looking at on the charts and how I'm trading. There's just, um, you know, we, we truly have been listening to so much feedback, what people wanted and implementing the changes. It's, um, yeah, I mean everything you need to know right now i'm giving you so yeah i'm just going to wrap it up with that i'm going to say thank you once again if you want to see more and learn from us that's obviously chartchampions.com if you want to come over into the discord you're more than welcome 
and you know join the cc pool fam today i'm just gonna say that thank you ever so much i truly do love what i do i truly do love helping you out and for me that's makes me a proud and happy guy so um yeah i'm just gonna say that thank you ever so much let's keep our eye on that high i've taught you through the latest levels i'm looking at and um yeah if you want to learn more catch us over on the discord or the website thank you ever so much everybody and have a brilliant brilliant week ahead cc pool send their regards cheers everybody and of course there's no financial advice in this video this is at the end of the day just an entertainment educational video only to help you out so cheers everybody thank you and once again goodbye i love you